Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Dynabook Satellite Pro C40 Solid State Drive or RAM and also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this little laptop and of course you're gonna see how you can open it up. First things first you need a little screwdriver. I use this type of little set there. I bought them from Amazon. Uh, they are actually very, very good now. I'm surprised how good they are. The good quality, very solid. And by the way, this is not an advertisement. Now you can use whatever you have there in your house. If you are interested in them, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can find them yourself then. Remove all the screws from the back panel. It shouldn't take you more than maybe a minute or two. I'm gonna speed things a bit up so it's gonna be just a little less boring, I suppose. Okay, when the screws are removed, you need something plasticky. Usually I would say never use metal, but uh, I'm gonna actually go against my own words now. I have to use a bit of metal. I'm gonna use the Stanley knife as well as the plastic little thingy there, because this back panel was absolutely a nightmare for me anyway. Maybe someone else there has a better way of opening it, but it didn't work out for me so well, so I had to use the Stanley knife. Uh, who doesn't know these knives are really sharp so they could care don't break your laptop and probably even more important don't cut your hands or fingers it's pretty painful I suppose but actually if you do take good care you're gonna it's gonna be fine you're not gonna break any parts of the laptop or your fingers just to be really really careful now any other video I make, I always say don't use anything metal, so this is why this is a bit different now and actually not really proud of myself, but I have to do it. I think we're getting a bit closer now here, so any minute, any second now we should have that panel off. Okay, this looks better now. Okay, and back panel is coming off now. And this is the look inside of this little laptop now. It's good news, you can upgrade your RAM, you can upgrade solid state drive, so it's, it's pretty good. There's your battery. There's your DDR4 RAM slot. There's 8 gigabyte at the moment in it. I'm not gonna upgrade that, although I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can buy a 16 gigabyte stick. This laptop will support that with no problem. That's your SSD slot M2. I'm gonna upgrade this in a minute now. You're gonna see what I'm gonna put it into it, so. That's your CPU. CPU is not upgradable, by the way, if, if you were about to ask that or if you're interested in that. There's a closer look now. Battery looks pretty generic, so I presume someone has changed that before. It wasn't me anyway, but it doesn't look like it's a genuine battery. There's your Wi-Fi card. Really small one. There's your DDR4 RAM. Only one slot, by the way. So you can get 16 gigabit stick or probably 32 gig stick even. I'm not 100% sure about that. There's 256 gigabyte solid state drive in it at the moment. I'm gonna upgrade to 500 gigabyte Samsung drive. So you're gonna see that in a minute now. There's a closer look to TDR4 RAM now. It's 3200 hertz. I'm not gonna upgrade that, although I'm gonna leave this link in the description. So if, if you are looking to upgrade, you can find it easier. So eight keys for me is all right at the moment. Uh, plus I didn't have any 16 gigabyte stick, so that's what's gonna stay in it for now. Okay, use the same screwdriver as before and remove the solid state drive. I do recommend disconnecting the battery before actually removing either RAM or SSD. 
that's the one what's in it at the moment. Also, not sure was that original in it or was that upgraded by someone, not sure now. It does look like a bit of a cheap one now, but sure, who knows. Okay, that's the drive that's gonna go in. It's a Samsung 980. It's super duper fast, really good drives. I got them on sale on Amazon, I think so. They were both 50 euros, 50 dollars, around that price, cheap enough. And these are really, really good ones now, I have to say. I do recommend them. Just, uh, if you don't know that, now there's a bit of a news for you. Once you change your solid state drive, you have to reinstall Windows again, so it's gonna be a bit of work after that. Once you finish actually physically upgrading laptop, you still have to install Windows again. I installed Windows 11 and this laptop runs perfect. Not as fast as Windows 10, I have to say. That's Windows 11 for you. Okay, I'm finished with upgrading. That's hopefully now this was helpful for you there who are looking to see what you can or what you can't upgrade or if you just wanted to see how the motherboard looks like or how the battery looks like. So hopefully it was helpful for you. And any more questions, leave me a comment. And if you're happy with the video, thumbs up, of course. And have a good life. Bye-bye.